So last night, Trev Time had a pre-recorded interview with, her name is Nina Gomez. She is Chris Proudfoot's ex-wife, the one that he has a daughter with. And, uh, well, um, you'd have to go and watch it. Uh, words can't words can't describe it well enough. Uh, words, my words wouldn't do it justice. You'd need to go and watch it if what she's said is true. And at first, I were a little bit, mm, is she being truthful? Is she just jumping on? We hate Chris, the we hate Chris bandwagon type thing. Um, but then I, after because I, I didn't watch it all last night. I finished watch it, watching it uh, this morning. Um, and I've seen other people talk about it. Uh, I've got no reason to not believe her, especially with what with what we already know about Chris. Uh, it, it's bad. It's really bad. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Go over and watch it, and you'll you'll see what I mean. You, you'll understand what I mean by it's bad because it, it's uh, it's really bad. I want to talk about something that was said. Um, I think it was said after the premiere of uh, Trev Time's pre-recorded uh, interview with uh, Nina. Um, he went on the lab and he said something over there. Now, this clip is taken from um, Michelle After Dark and I know I'm, I want a tag her in it, but I also don't want her to hate me because I know she doesn't agree with people like me and what I do and everything, and that's okay. Uh, I don't want her to hate me because I like her. And I like what she does, and I enjoy watching her. She's no nonsense, stays away from the drama type thing, and she she uh, rolls with the facts. And I know some people might think, well, you're a paranormal channel, you do a uh, ghost box, that's not exactly fact. It's not. I understand where you're coming from, but it's not what you also think it is as well. Um, but I like her, and I don't want her to hate me, so I am going to tag her in it because I've used Eclipse. And I hope she doesn't hit me with a strike or anything. Um, but she she caught a clip from the lab. And this is that clip. Uh, Trev went on the lab, Josh's show, after this and said this because he's been speaking to Nina off the air. Faith witnessed Chris Profort abusing Sebastian, and I'm sorry this clip is sped up. I screen grab this. I know some of you don't like it, but anyway, listen to this. Yeah, um, Faith, who is you know their their child witnessed um Sebastian being hit in the face by Chris. This was brought back by by their daughter. Wait a minute, you're saying that Faith, the, Nina's daughter, witnessed Chris Proudfoot hitting Sebastian Rogers in the face. Yes. Three weeks ago, I released a spirit box session on Sebastian, for Sebastian. And I caught something on there. I had a response on there that has now been corroborated by first-hand accounts and witnesses. And this is that response. Has Sebastian come to harm? Did somebody hurt Sebastian? I don't, don't know what else to say. I don't know how to uh, put my thoughts across because there's there's ways I want to I want to put certain thoughts across. I want to say certain stuff, but I can't because of YouTube restrictions. Um. This poor kid, this poor lad, like, the stuff that's come out is r ridiculous. It's bad. It's really bad. And the way that he's been trapped, and the way that he was spoke to, not just by Chris, but by his mum. Right? And let's say, let's say she didn't treat him the way that Chris treated him. But she knew it was happening, and she let it happen. So even if she wasn't doing what Chris was doing, she's just as bad. In fact, she's worse. Do you know why she's worse? Because she's his mum. 
she was supposed to protect him. And she didn't. She let it happen. And that kid went through hell. He went through hell. And his mum saw it and let it happen. His mum could have gone to uh, to Seth. Katie could have gone to Seth and said, Seth, look, you need to take him. This is what's happening. I can't protect him. But she didn't even do that. She didn't even do that. She allowed it to happen. She's just as bad. She's just as bad in my book. She's just as bad. I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to show that something that I got, a reply that I'd got had actually been corroborated now. Um, I don't find any joy in it. I wish it had never have happened. But I, I asked the question, I got a reply, and now that, that reply has been corroborated specifically, um, being hit in the face. Your time's going to come, Chris. Your time's going to come, lad.